everybody so valentine's day is coming up so for you girls out there who's going out with your date or your friends or your family if you're single then i hope that this will help this is more focused on um sultry neutral smoky eye makeup look and so if you're not into like pinks and like going out with bright makeup look then this should be for you. I hope you like it. And I will have another video that's more focused on, you know, pinks and bright makeup. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this really sexy, sultry, smoky makeup look. If you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so with your naked face, apply your favorite face primer. I'm just using this one by Rimmel. Then I chose to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup and I think this is perfect because it has very light to medium coverage so it doesn't cake up your face pretty much. And then I only applied one layer of that because as I said I didn't want to cake up my face so the trick to lesser makeup is concealer and I'm applying a heavy coverage concealer like this one which is max pro long wear and then with just a lighter shade of concealer this one is by maybelline i'm applying that on my under eye circle and just all over where your face needs to be highlighted and that's just a trick to making you look so much more awake like this okay so now you guys take out your eye primer so that your makeup will last throughout the night and just apply that all over your eyelids and with a fluffy brush I'm going to take a medium brown eyeshadow any medium brown will work and start on the outer corner of my crease working my way to my inner corner and make sure that you blend it out really well and then I'm going to take this really bronzy eyeshadow anything that you like will work obviously and apply that on your lid just below your crease line and then with a fluffier brush like this one i'm going to take just this i'm not sure how i can describe this like a tan like a light tan color eyeshadow and i'm just going to use this as my transition transitional color to blend the to blend with the medium brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to highlight with this very light close to my skin tone eyeshadow color <laughs> all right so for more definition you want to take a darker brown eyeshadow and apply that on the outer corner of your crease mostly but obviously blend it inwards as well to make everything pretty much blended and this is going to create a more dramatic look, more smoked out, and just pretty much sexier. Now this is optional, but I want to add just a hint of very light pink eyeshadow on the inner corner of my lower lash lines halfway through. And then with a cream colored that shimmery eyeshadow, I'm going to apply that on my tear duct to make me look a lot more awake and with a flat brush like this i'm going to take the same medium brown and the same dark brown that i used before and apply that on the outer corner of my lower lash lines okay now that we're finished working with the eyeshadows we're ready to mattify our face and that's also going to help us you know wipe out all the fallouts on our face from the eyeshadows with a black eyeliner, I'm going to apply that on my waterline and I'm also going to use the same eyeliner to tight line, meaning just to apply it on the top part of my waterline and also on my upper lash lines, which is where I'm applying it now. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out like so. Just take a black eyeshadow to blend the eyeliner out and also create a little bit of wing. Now with your favorite falsies, you can never go wrong with these. They just complete the look and make it a lot more sexier and I, I just love adding falsies. So just apply that all over 
your eyes obviously <laughs> and then your mascara and then we're done pretty much and now of course optional apply a liquid liner on top of the falsies now that we're done doing our really smoky, sultry eyes, we are now ready to finish off the face. I think that adding a little bit of contour on your face does the trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to contour our cheeks to make it look like we have that really deep, nice, um, contoured face. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. I'm just going to use this one right here. I'm going to start... I'd say by the top of my ear, right there, down. And now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush because I think that blush is just just as important as bronzer, especially on your Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna use this next one in Silky Rose. And I'm just gonna apply that on my cheekbones or on the apples of my cheeks, I meant. This is a very neutral one since we're doing a very neutral look. I'm using Max Spirit, like so. I'm gonna use Avon Hollywood Lights uh, Lip Gloss in Famous Tan. There you have it. So, this is the look. We are now finished and I hope you enjoyed this look. As you can see, I didn't do any bright colors or any pinks or reds or whatever because not a lot of people like to go out with, you know, bright makeup. I mean, I like bright makeups like pinks and reds and all that, but sometimes I prefer going out, especially when my husband just, you know, with the sultry, neutral makeup look. I'm going to do another, some more Valentine's look, but more focused on bright looks. And then I'm going to do one that's a lot more simpler than this. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's Day. If you're single, that is totally fine. Go out with your friends or with your family and have a very nice dinner with them and enjoy your Valentine's Day. Check out my website makeupbymissy.com so you can see all the list of the products that I used for this look. High quality pictures will be on my website as well so I will link it right here somewhere or down below in the info box and make sure that you follow me on Twitter, link below, and on my Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Happy Valentine's Day and I will see you soon.